Many of you will likely be importing geometry into Twinmotion 2023. After all, the goal of this software is to provide you with a simple yet powerful visualization solution for your projects or products. Let's dive into the various methods of getting your models into Twinmotion. I have the starting scene here, but of course you're free to choose one of the templates at the startup hub. Expanding the import dock and clicking to import, we have four import option types, geometry, direct link, landscape, and point cloud. With geometry, you can import a wide variety of 3D model types. I'm going to select a watering can I put together and it is an FBX file type. With options, I pretty much always keep full precision UVs and normal selected, as well as the up axis and unit conversion set to auto. You can change the up axis to whatever you'd like. It could be different depending on the application you use to create the model, but you can always reposition the axis as well as the point of origin of any model you have selected by using the axis and origin adjustment icons in the top ribbon panel. The one option setting to keep in mind of is the collapse setting. These models will be imported as a container in the scene graph, and depending on the collapse setting depends on how the subcontainers are structured. Keep Hierarchy is going to try to maintain the mesh hierarchy that is established with the model. As in, if you have different mesh groups in a model, it creates a subcontainer for each and every separate piece of mesh you have. Collapse by material means the subcontainers of this model will be categorized based on the different materials you have on the model. So if you have multiple meshes within your model that share the same material, then they are going to be merged together as a unified container. And finally, collapse all means the entire model is going to collapse into one single container. After importing, you can see my model came in just fine, and we can also edit its material to change its appearance any way we like. For direct link, just make sure you have the application that supports twin motion direct linking. In this case, I'm using Revit 2023 and I have a basic structure I'd like to link in. The import options are similar to the geometry settings, so I'm going to just go ahead and import. Then once you sync your model from Revit, the direct link should work right away and you'll see your model comes right into twin motion with all its associated materials, lights, meshes, and more. This is where the collapse option can come in handy. I have collapse by material set by default for this link. If I go back and resync the link with keep hierarchy, you'll see all the modeled elements are separated. If I choose collapse all, then the entire model is one single container. So keep that in mind with how you set up your Revit models. We will dive more into Revit, Revit LT, Twinmotion, and Unreal Engine 5 in a later video. The landscape option is a great option if you have a custom height map you want to import as an editable terrain in Twinmotion. Simply select a height map. In this case, I've created this height map with World Creator. Set the scale of the landscape and its vertical height. You'll see right away it automatically applies a sort of auto landscape material to the mesh. But you can edit this any way you want along with some additional sculpting controls. And lastly, if you have any point cloud data that you've created via LiDAR or photogrammetry, then you can easily import that here with various point cloud settings to adjust and visualize that data in your scene. Twinmotion is set up for you to utilize almost any kind of importing model option you have in your workflows. If there is any specific type of other import processes you'd like to see, let me know and I'll be sure to cover as much as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.